Now we're going to see the troubleshooting for the single orifice float trap. The troubleshooting is in two parts. One, steam is leaking and the second, it is not discharging at all. The first part, steam leaking. One has to check the trap installation. The trap is installed in a horizontal plane. And one has to follow the arrow seen on the base casting for the flow direction. Once the installation is checked, one has to check for the SLR setting. Check that the SLR is kept cracked open, that it is one eighth of a turn and not more than that. Once the SLR is checked, open the trap to check the trap internals. Ensure that the gasket is intact and not damaged while opening the trap. Check the movement of the internals. Check for any kind of foreign particle deposition in the valve and the seat. This is seating number one and the second seating is inside the valve housing. Clean the same with compressed air and cotton cloth. Ensure that the float is resting on the valve housing. Once this is checked, check for the TV assembly if the trap is with an automatic thermostatic vent, which will be installed here. The product we see here is an SLR combination. If it is a TV assembly, it will be assembled here. Once this is checked, reassemble the trap and check the trap performance. For the second part, trap not discharging at all. Kindly check the strainer which is installed at the upstream of the trap. The second point one has to check for any kind of additional back pressure acting on the float trap. The third point one has to see is the trap installation. Ensure that the trap is installed in a horizontal plane and that we are following the arrow's direction. Once these things are checked, the final check will be the float. Check whether the float is punctured. If so, replace the same. This is how we troubleshoot the single orifice float trap.